Hi there, my name is Peter Janis, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Radial Pro D2. This is a stereo direct box. Um, it can be used for guitars, basses, CD players, computers, all kinds of things. But we really designed it for keyboards. Um, not that it's a whole bunch different, it's just the connectorization is really easy for keyboard players. So it's really straightforward to use. It's designed for stereo keyboards or two mono keyboards. Both channels are completely isolated, so it doesn't matter. You can use it as two mono or stereo. You plug your keyboard in, the output is XLR, you've got a throughput that lets you feed your own personal monitoring system or whatever you might have, a mixer on stage or something. Um, and um, the Pro D2 is absolutely spectacular. It, it's, it's a lot more than just a DI box and let me explain why it's so cool. Um, first off, what a DI box does is it takes an unbalanced signal, balances it and then allows it to run long distances. So I can run 100 meters or 300 feet without a bunch of noise. If you run a high Z cable or high impedance cable, after 20, 25 feet you start to get a lot of noise in the system. So the idea in going to a balanced system is it lowers the impedance, lowers susceptibility to noise. That's the reason we want to do that. The other reason we want to do that is that on a stage, if you've got a whole bunch of microphones, you want the signal coming out of that keyboard to be about the same as all the mics so you don't get crosstalk in the snake system. Um, it's basically noise uh, prevention again. That's what this DI box does. The Pro D2 brings the signal down so that it's about the same as a microphone. That's really important. That gives you consistency. So all the signals going to the front of house mix position are all about the same level. Really quick to switch cables around. It's fast. Remember, live touring, live shows, fast. Let's go get the job done. But there's a bunch more benefits. If you plug a keyboard into a mixing console, what invariably happens is that this gets its power from one source, this gets its power from another source. When you connect the two together, something happens and it's called a ground loop. Okay? And ground loops manifest themselves in a couple different ways, mostly as far as noise. And where is that noise caused from? Well, as I say, it's discrepancies within the grounding. This keyboard might have a 12 volt reference to ground. This mixer might have a 16 volt reference to ground. These, T volt, uh, these two devices clash. Uh, the voltages clash. It's DC currents that run all over the place. So what we do is we simply insert in between them a Pro D2 DI box. So here's your Pro D2. And the Pro D2 is basically a transformer device. In other words, it uses inside, it has a couple big fat transformers. These are optimized for keyboards. They're just a, a great sounding uh, transformer. Um, what transformers or how they work is that essentially you have a signal goes in one side of the transformer, a coil is created, and that coil creates a magnetic field. So as the signal goes in one side, it it actually passes through a magnetic bridge. So there's no physical contact from the input to the output. Because at the other end, it generates a magnetic field, which then in turn creates current again. So transformers are very efficient. They've been around for 100 years. Uh, they're fantastic. That's how the Pro D2 works. And what that does, because it isolates, the input and the output are never connected. So you don't get any connection there. Therefore, what happens? You get rid of all the noise. Now, there's another huge benefit to transformers. If you use an active DI box, an active DI box is limited, or the headroom is limited, by how much voltage you have within the DI box. And of course, the problem with most DI boxes is they don't have very much headroom. What a transformer does, because a transformer is completely passive, you avoid the problem of headroom altogether. Transformers don't distort, they saturate. So an active circuit might go from 0.1% distortion to 100% distortion when you exceed the headroom. What a transformer does is it kind of rounds out the sound like that as it gets kind of, you know, overloaded. It actually saturates. A lot of people will plug a Pro D2 into a keyboard or something and they'll go, wow, it sounds vintage. Well, yeah, there's a reason for it. All the old gear had transformers. The reason we don't see transformers is because good ones are really expensive. A good transformer costs a lot of money to make. There's nickel, there's all kinds of things in it. Just this little casing, okay, this is called a mu metal casing. This casing alone 
costs about ten dollars, so it's really expensive. So, but that's there to protect you against noise. That's a mu metal shield. That's that's designed to stop magnetic fields from guitar amplifiers and bass amplifiers and keyboard power supplies from polluting the signal path. So it's all there for a reason. This is you know this is serious stuff. So. Um, because you've got this natural compression or natural limiting occurring, you can hit it really hard. So if you've got a digital piano, man, there's just nothing sounds better than running it through a transformer. It just warms up the tone. So today, of course, everything's digital. It's kind of stark sounding. Warm it up a little bit. Get yourself a Pro D2. So. Again, to repeat, what do you get? Number one, you get isolations, you get rid of all the noise, buzz, and hum problems. Number two, all that distortion that's caused from overloading circuits becomes attenuated or reduced because what you've got is those transformers in between that round out the signal, warm it up a little bit. You get lots of signal handling and it sounds great. Um, the same transformers are used in the Pro D8, Pro D2, we're using the Pro AV1, Pro AV2, SW8. Pro, you know, a whole bunch of our products use that same radial transformer, and these are used around the world with the best artists in the world, including Rush, U2, Radiohead, great keyboard players like Joey DeFrancesco, Chikoria, Herbie Hancock, and bands like the Goo Goo Dolls. They're all using the Pro D2 or one of the, these products in their touring rigs, in the recording studios, these kinds of things. So as far as quality. I, I, you know, all I can tell you is the best in the world are using it, and I'm sure you'll like it too.